Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to once again another Warzone video on the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the tips and tricks to use the crossbow within Warzone to get one hit kills at all ranges at all times. If you do use the crossbow properly and you're accurate and good with it, this thing can outclass snipers and is a guaranteed one shot kill which we'll get into a little bit here. I do want to mention in the description check for a few guides that I will have to help you with this crossbow. I will have a how to unlock it for those players who have yet to unlock the crossbow in multiplayer or within warzone. I'm also going to have guides on how to level up the crossbow quickly for those who don't have some of the attachments I have unlocked yet as well as I might throw in a how to get to the final circle guide to help you get wins with the crossbow. Starting off with the class, I will show my attachments for the crossbow as well as my snake shot akimbo 357 pistols. Of course, as perks, I run cold blooded, ghost, and shrapnel with this class with the heartbeat sensor and claymore. That's basically my class layout. It's nothing too crazy, nothing too special. Talking about the crossbow now, I really enjoy it. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I usually say that once I start using a different gun in Warzone just because it switches up the pace. I only recommend using the crossbow to medium to long range encounters unless you're really accurate with it at close range encounters. Obviously close range encounters are going to be a little bit easier, but if you're pulling up on a squad of 3 or 4 and you're down in numbers so you're weaker or you're just having the low ground in that situation, if they have MP7s, MP5s, shotguns, snake shots themselves you're gonna get outgunned with that crossbow but if you know they're distracted and you know you can get a few easy kills with the crossbow go for it the big thing i want to cover with the crossbow is the different type of bolts you can have there is four different bolts you have the standard bolt which is just the normal arrow you have the gas grenade tipped bolt which where you hit a surface a gas grenade will go off it's kind of useful in some situations, but it's really useless in a lot of situations as well. So I kind of tend to stay away from the gas tip grenade. The explosive and the thermite tip, however, are extremely overpowered. And if you stick an enemy, you are guaranteed a one hit kill, unless they have EOD. I'm going to throw that out as a disclaimer right now. If an enemy has EOD, unless they have low health and low shield, even if you stick them, they might survive the tip. But for the rest of the video, we're gonna pretend the enemies don't have EOD. Just keep that in mind that if they do have that perk, they might end up surviving a stick depending on where you stick them. The thermite tip and the explosive tip, regardless of where you stick an enemy, will kill them regardless of how much health they have, even if you shoot them in the foot. And I'll explain how this happens. So for the thermite tip, if you guys know how the thermite grenades work, once you stick an enemy or a surface, the thermite will start burning. Now, if you stick an enemy, not only will that initial arrow impact damage them significantly, but that thermite is going to burn through their armor and will burn long enough to down them. If you have an explosive tip and you stick an enemy with the explosive tip, the initial impact of the arrow will cause a lot of damage and the explosion will end up downing them after it explodes. Now both of these arrows do have a damage radius so you don't need to be completely accurate and stick them to do damage. The thermite can cause a lot of damage if they are shot underneath the player's feet or around them or if they run through it. Same thing with the explosive tip. It's just if they run by the explosion they're going to get explosive damage. Now if you're going to kill or down an enemy with the explosive tip and thermite tip without sticking an enemy, you have to shoot multiple arrows around them to kill them. For explosive tip, if they're close radius, one to two arrow explosions should do the trick. However, with thermites, it's going to be two to three, depending on how much health and armor. For this example, we're gonna assume enemies have full to half armor when we're shooting around them at close distances. Of course, if they have less health and less armor, running through a thermite might just down them in general without sticking them. When I use the crossbow, I will use it at a medium to long range, just as you would a sniper. However, if an enemy is close to me and they are unsuspecting or they are standing still, you can get an easy thermite stick on that enemy and I will end up using my actual crossbow. However, if there is a bunch of enemies around me and I need a close range weapon to rely on, I will either have my snake shots or I would have run a two drop system grabbing my M13 and crossbow from two different classes to run a crossbow M13 combination, my M13 doing most of the close and medium range work and then my crossbow doing most of the medium to long range work within the game. 
You'll see in the gameplay, there is tons of times where enemies will be close to medium ranges that I will use the crossbow and end up sticking and downing them. Only do this if you are confident and skilled enough with the crossbow. For new players just using the crossbow for the first time, I recommend practicing your long range and medium range game in the first place. Worst case scenario, for those new players with the crossbow, they may end up having to use a crossbow in a close range scenario. Say they get surprised by an enemy at close range, they don't have time to pick out their secondary weapon or switch weapons in general, they might have to use that crossbow. But for those new players, I recommend practicing your crossbow for their long to medium range at first. And then once you get more confident and more comfortable with the crossbow and how it shoots, then start moving to that close range. Personally for me, I've used the crossbow plenty of times within ground war matches in multiplayer to get Damascus on it, so I have that general game knowledge of how to use the crossbow. The crossbow overall is an extremely good weapon to use. It can one-shot enemies at all ranges if you have the explosive and thermite tip. Any arrow at any range, headshot or high shoulder shot or chest shot can one shot an enemy down. Of course, chest shots might not do a one shot kill if they have full armor, but it will crack them and it will leave them super weak. If you end up sticking an enemy with a thermite and they get revived, Use your M13 or secondary weapon to get those kills within the game. Just a general recap for the crossbow. If you're skilled enough, use it as much as you want. If you're a beginner, practice with it a little. Don't rely on it too much. Just have fun with the crossbow. It's a fun gun to use. Even if you're not going to use it constantly like I am, give it a try. I definitely recommend it. It's very overpowered. If you guys want to level up the crossbow extremely fast, just run capture missions within Warzone if you're a free-to-play player. If you own the full game, obviously use the crossbow as much as you can in multiplayer to level it up, just to get those better attachments that will improve its accuracy and range and stuff like that. I'm going to wrap up the video here. Leave a like if you did enjoy, dislike if you didn't. Let me know in my Discord, which is linked in the description below, on what future Warzone videos and future weapons you want me to use. I'm about to head out, and if there is one, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.